I'm Rachel with Raza, and today we're going to walk through how to create your very first Raza chatbot or assistant. So first I'm going to talk about how to upgrade Raza to make sure that you have the latest version and all the bug fixes. Uh, and then we're going to do a code walkthrough together of how to create your Raza assistant uh, and some of the uh, files that you will need in any assistant. And finally, we'll talk about some of the most commonly used command line interface commands. So you should be ready to start right after this video. First off, if you haven't installed Raza, make sure you go ahead and do that. We have a uh, list of video install guides on our Raza YouTube channel. Uh, and if it's been a while since you installed Raza the first time, you might want to upgrade Raza. And the command for that is pip or pip3 install dash dash upgrade Raza. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to our code walkthrough. So currently I'm working in a Conda environment that you can see I've already activated called Raza install, where I have Raza installed. Uh, and I can double check that Raza is installed by asking for help using Raza-H. And you can see here are all of the Raza command line interface commands. And the one that I'm going to use is Raza init. And this will create a new project uh, and it'll be a simple assistant that asks you if you're happy. I'm going to do it in my current directory. Uh, I'm going to overwrite uh, the current things in my directory, and I'm going to train an initial model as well. So this is a basic assistant that will ask you if you're happy, and if you are, say, good job! <laughs> and if you're not, it'll show you a cute picture of a baby tiger, um, or because uh, this command prompt doesn't render pictures from URLs, it'll show you the URL for a picture of a baby tiger. So let's talk to it really quickly, and I can show you that that's what's going on. We are talking to our assistant in the cell, and I'm going to say, hi! My assistant asks how I am, and I'm going to say, I'm really sad. Not going well for me. Uh, and then the assistant replies back, and this uh, JPEG is the picture of the baby tiger, uh, and pretend that I've gone and looked at it, uh, and I said, yeah, that does help. So that's what our assistant does. Now let's look at the files that you absolutely need to make any Raza assistant run. The minimum files that you're going to need in any assistant are the domain, the config, and at least one data file. And uh, by default, your data will be organized into three files, one for NLU, one for stories, and one for rules. The domain shows you all of the things that your assistant knows about, and we'll talk about this uh, in more detail a little bit later on. But these are the things, the types of things that your users can say to the assistant. These are all of the things that the assistant can say. It won't say anything not on this list. Um, and then there's some configuration variables as well. The config file sets out your NLU pipeline, and de by default in Raza 2.0 plus, we have picked a sensible one for you, so you don't really need to worry about this until well after you have your assistant trained and customized and have a lot of data. And finally, your data. So there are, by default, three data files. Your NLU file has different examples of ways that people can express a specific intent. So here we have the intent greet and different ways that people might greet your assistant. You have your stories, which show potential conversation flows. Intents are things your users can say to the assistant that will be detected by the NLU. Actions are things your assistant does. If it starts with utter, it's something that they've said, and these are all defined in the domain file. Uh, but you can have other types of actions as well. And finally, the rules file defines rules. So these are things that are conditional. So for example, whenever somebody says goodbye, the assistant is going to uh, react by saying goodbye as well. Now let's quickly go over some of the command line commands you're liable to use the most. So the ones you are probably going to need to use right away are raza-h. This is the help and it will tell you all of the things that the assistant can do. Uh, and the other things that you're probably going to want to use right away are Raza Shell and Raza Train. Raza Train trains a new model and stores it in the model directory with a name that's derived from the time it was trained. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't changed anything in my data or my config or my domain, so right now we don't need to actually train a new model. Raza Shell will allow you to talk to your assistant in the shell like we were doing earlier. So now that my assistant has launched, um, I can say hi and talk to it and we can have, you know, a conversation. So maybe now I'm doing great and my assistant will respond appropriately. And the final thing that you're probably going to need right away is the dash dash debug flag. So uh, if I say Raza shell 
and include debug, I will get a lot more information about what my assistant is doing. And this can be really helpful to help you pick apart potential issues that are going on. So just to quickly recap, we've talked about installing and upgrading Raza. And the command to upgrade Raza, again, just for your records, pip3 install dash dash upgrade Raza. Uh, we talked about the minimal files that you need for your Raza assistant, and that's the domain, the config, which you don't have to worry about right now, uh, and then your data files, and the default arrangement of those is one file for your NLU, one file for your stories, and one file for your rules. And finally, some of the most commonly used command line interface commands. So Raza init to create a new assistant, Raza train to train a new model for your current assistant, Raza shell to talk to the most recent model of your current assistant. You can also specify a specific model if you want, Raza dash H for help, and then the debug flag to get a lot more information that can be really helpful when you're trying to troubleshoot your assistant. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you found this helpful and you are ready to train your first Raza assistant. Thank <music> you.